Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away, and we now got stage 35 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's Build the Ecto-1. Now stage 35 is the first part of issue 11 and obviously in issue 11 encompasses four stages to actually build and in this stage we're going to start with the electrics and putting the battery box in. Now if you want to get yourself this all the way from issue 1 then all you need to do is just go over to this link here if you're in the US follow the US link and if you're in the UK follow the UK link and you'll be able to get this for yourself and you'll be able to get to where we are at the moment and if you remember last time uh, we attached all four uh, tyres and wheels so basically this can now move move along uh, it is going to still need some revolving round upside down and inside out and back to front uh, just to get some of these for items on but this is an example of what we're actually going to be fitting this time we've got the battery box with the on off switch on here and some plugs and then we've basically got some surrounds for that to go under the vehicle uh, but let's show you what we've got to do so as you can see in the inventory list here this is everything we got including some brackets three kinds of screws in this one bm em and ip screws uh, and then what we're going to be doing we're going to be assembling the battery box area into the cover here we're going to be attaching that to the vehicle with some straps and then we're going to be putting the switch into place uh, that's all we're going to do in this issue but because the amount of turning around and uh, making sure that we do everything correct and it's tight and everything's in uh, it might take a little bit of time but uh, this is an absolutely brilliant build if you followed along uh, recently uh, you'll see how happy I've been with how this is looking um, but if you haven't seen my videos what I've done I've put the uh, last video that we've done up there I've also done a playlist as well so you'll be able to see this from pack one uh, so if it does whet your appetite you can order this for yourself but uh, without further ado let's get cracking okay the first section we need is this part here which is going to be accepting the battery now when we actually put the battery pack in here you'll see that you've got some little notches on the end here now these notches here need to be in the opposite direction to that little uh, sort of like cut out there because it's basically going to accept uh, the lid the cover for the battery box in there so when we put this on as you can see we've got four lugs either side here they're basically going to go over the four holes here they go this way around and as I said the notches then if you look on the other side here are on this side here so we'll be able to put the battery box in so let's secure this into place now to do that we just need some IP screws we've got a whole bag of them here and it takes four of those just in there so let's get them in that's a nice quick start isn't it so put this one in over here first I think just like that and then what I'll do is I'll do the one in the opposite corner there now when I do fit electrics I'm just visually checking all the wires have got a contact here because if I ever need to do any uh, troubleshooting or snagging afterwards I want to make sure that I'm confident that all the wires are in place when I actually put it in looks good at the moment I don't think I need to test it yet until uh, we've actually got something to connect to but uh, that's all four in so it's looking like that that side and that that side as I said so we've got the gap here and then on the other side we've got two holes on this side and then that will enable me to put this section here which is the uh, battery case just into that section at the back there and then just clip that down like that we're going to be putting the switch and the plug through this section here and we're going to be attaching the top of the uh, cover here just making sure it's round the right way it can only really fit one way comfortably which is that way there and this is going to be held into place with four ip screws as well so i've got those screws here and we put them in one two two on the other side here three and one more just in there and four so the next thing we need to do is bring the vehicle over and we're going to turn it upside down so i'm being very careful when i do that because we're going to be need to go on this side here now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put the battery box compartment cover looking like this is actually just going to go underneath this section here and it's going to go over these three hole lugs here as you can see we've got one two three it's going to match up with those three holes here and we have got a little lug at the back there which is going to line up just with that hole here so to put it in we need to sort of like put it under these sections here position it into place 
and then it's going to be screwing in from the other side there so what i think i'm going to do is just put a little bit of masking tape on there just to keep that actually it clips into place so you're not going to need masking tape when i turn it upside down it should stay in there so let's see if i'm right there we're going to turn it upside down yes let's look at that it stayed in there and this is going to be held in with these three holes here uh, just with some ip screws again so these are the screws that we've already had open i'm going to be very gentle with the ones i've got first and hold it from underneath and put these into place that's the first one that's not going anywhere now i thought when i saw this in the instructions i thought that bit was going to be really tricky <laughs> And I was thinking that, well, I need masking tape to stick that down while I'm screwing them in. But as you can see, they work perfectly without that. So here's the third IP screw here. And that just goes into place like that. So now that's covered that section up hole there. We've just got a little hole in the middle there. And this section, we're basically going to be putting the uh, uh, this over the top. But the leads are going to go through the hole here. So I'll put them in through here, the switch and the uh, plug. And then it's orientated so that the battery box release lever here is towards the center of the car there so this is going to go into place kind of like that sitting over the top of some lugs we got in there so that's not going to move and then we've got these brackets here we need to put one each side they're just going to fit over each side here we've got one this side here and one for the other side we'll put them into place just like this now these are held into place with bm screws so i've got them here i'll put the first one in there's two small holes just in the uh, chassis here for these to go into. Now these are metal screws, but I'm just trying them to see if I'm going to need any oil on them. I don't need any oil on these. These are really tiny screws. That's why I haven't done that this time. And uh, I'll just do the one this side. And then that is going to hold the battery box into place. Just put the other one on the other side here which is just going to go on just like that and just the other screw on this side nice and tight and that is the battery box into place as you can see that's secure it's not going anywhere we've turned the vehicle back over again now just like that as you can see we've got a switch here and we've got a plug now the switch is just going to go into this section that we can see just there almost off camera there now i'm just going to make sure i rotate this the right way around because one side's going to be off and one side's going to be on now the on side is the side nearest to the wheel arch here the off side is the one furthest away so when i look at this switch i want to make sure that when it's in this position where as you can see there's a brake there's no wire in this plug here that's the off position so it's going to be going into this way so that the spare plug is pointing towards the rear of the vehicle now that is going to be kept into place with some em screws now this is going into metal and it's quite tough metal so i am going to be using a little bit of uh oil for this one just to keep the switch lined up and into place and I'm not making it screwed down all the way until I've lined the other side up as well. A little bit of oil in that as well. Line that up. And then that's him. Drive it home so that switch is nice and tight. And obviously you want to make sure this is secure because this is going to get a lot of use turning it off and on again. Again, visually inspect the wires on this switch just to make sure that there's no brakes there's good connections in there that looks absolutely perfect very good and that is all there is to do in that stage that was a lot easier than i thought i have to say but you see it goes together like clockwork it's absolutely brilliant uh, in the next issue we're going to be doing a fuel tube and steering wheel parts to be honest with you if you can look at that not much to do uh, but it is good that we're starting to do the electrics now uh, i am wondering should i just um put a bit of masking tape on that just to keep that flat so I don't catch it and pull one of those off I think that's probably what I'm going to do just to keep it safe while we're doing this build but anyway that's the introduction to issue 11 I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care